Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's uh, Trace and Bait Clinic once again. Today I'm going to be doing Garrick Trace using live bait with treble hooks. Okay, mackerel and mozzies in particular, shared obviously very simple. Okay, what we require for this would be our normal live bait slide. That's the nappy pin one, it goes backwards and forwards. Uh, we've got number four trebles, five extra strong. They're 9430 ADs or A's. I'm just gonna take one of them out in the meantime. We're using number fours here because we're gonna be doing a mozzie bait for you, a mozzie live bait. Um, the reason we use this hook instead of our black hook, moss bunker are silver in color, the same as shared. I'm going to take one out quickly, it makes life easy, like I said, there we go, I've got my one that I need. Guys, these are 3599Cs, um, it's the black treble hook, they are four extra strong. Uh, I'm just going to take one out of those two, just makes life easier. We're taking maxima one meter of nylon. Our braid scissors. And of course I've got two toothpicks. Nappy pin slide. I'm going to do a figure of eight onto our power swivel. And just do it very slowly to show you wrapping around once, twice, three times. We take the tag end and we go through the back. Lubricate. Slide the knot down, pull tight, cut off, tag in, easy as that. Because I'm going to do the moss bunker first, I'm going to take my silver 5 extra strong treble, stick it through the eye, and again, all I'm doing is a figure of 8, easiest knot in the world once you've done it a couple of times, once, twice, three times. Take the tag in through the back, form the figure of eight. There's the figure of eight. Lubricate, slide down. Be very careful now when you pull the knot tight that you don't slip. There we go. My knot is tight. Cut off the tag in. So there's the whole trace already made. I'll do exactly the same with our black treble when I show you how to rig the mackerel. Rigging your live bait, very important to keep your live bait as less stressed as possible. So wet your hands beforehand, take your moss bunker, and again, you can either rig it through the nose with your treble hook if you want, or take your um, toothpick, slide it, and don't go deep under the skin, very important. Just slightly under the skin. Cut it off as close as you can. Push your finger underneath it like so. Take your treble and just under the skin, guys. Don't go deep and kill it and go into the backbone and stuff like that. There is your live bait rigged. Walk down to the water's edge, drop him in the water and let him do his thing. It's as simple as that. Here we go, I'm going to do the live bait uh, for the mackerel just to make the go through the trace again. I've got a nappy pin slide, 21 kilo maxima, and again my black treble. I'm just going to make a figure of eight on it. So we take our live mackerel guys, wet your hands, take our toothpick, just the back section of your mackerel on top, we're going to insert and just under the skin, we're going to slide down our toothpick, cut it off, slide it in. Take our treble under the toothpick and just ever so lightly skin hook it. And it's as simple as that. You can see in clean water why we use the black treble. It sticks to the background 
of your actual mackerel. Black treble on a mackerel, silver treble on a moss bunker shared mullet. Simple as that guys. We then walk down to the actual water's edge, put our uh, mackerel gently in the water and let it swim up and down and do its thing. Guys, one thing about trebles, I don't advocate using it. You gut hook too many fish, unfortunately. And if you do get those smaller four kilo garrick, five kilo garrick, you can't release them, they, they damaged. Yeah, I try and stay away from trebles as much as possible. Rather use a circle hook, which is way, way better, more fish friendly. Um, yeah, or J hooks, guys. They're easier to remove from the fish's uh, mouth or throat. There we go, there's the live bait with a treble hook. Go and catch some garrick.